Our scripture reading for today is from Isaiah 52, verse 7 and 8. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news, who proclaim peace, who bring good tidings, who proclaim salvation, who say to Zion, Your God reigns. Listen, your watchmen lift up their voices. Together they shout for joy. When the Lord returns to Zion, they will see it with their own eyes. Someone once said, Hope looks to the future, but lives in the now. Isn't it amazing to know that Jesus came to bring hope and good news and peace and salvation, but that he brought it for now. This is the reality we're living in. And therefore we shouldn't wish our lives away, focusing only on Jesus' second coming. We should live every day according to Jesus' directions. Our eyes focus on the fulfillment of his promise. Are we watching? waiting, seeing the reality of the Emmanuel now. Why don't you think about this for a moment? Are you living every single moment, year and now, with as much expectation as you are waiting and watching for Jesus to return? Let's read our scripture again. Isaiah 52 verse 7 and 8. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news, who proclaim peace, who bring good tidings, who proclaim salvation, who say to Zion, Your God reigns. Listen, your watchmen lift up their voices. Together they shout for joy. When the Lord returns to Zion, they will see it with their own eyes. When we pray over this scripture today, let us ask God to help us see his future. But also let us pray for him to help us to see and live the reality of the Emmanuel here and now. good news, peace and salvation. We long for the fulfillment of your promises when you come again. But Jesus, help us to see that the good news, peace and salvation is also for today, a gift you have already made reality amidst the chaos of this present world. Help us see hope here and now as we stretch out towards your future in faith. O oh Lord, come.